Openert vs. DDWRT I have a TP-Link WR1043ND router and I want to install one of these two firmwares. Openert DDWRT I read that I can install custom packages and do much more than I can with the original firmware. I would like to ask someone with experience in using both Openert and DDWRT which he would recommend and why. And to give a few reference points I'm interested in. Reliability, network stability both on cable and wireless and on the USB drive. Performance, network speed, very important also USB drive speed. Configurability. The possibility to add extensions such as a torrent client, FTP, SSH, WWW and SVN server directly. Ease of use, the ease of installation and configuration of the router. Support slash docs, how much info there is if you stumble upon a problem and you have to find some documentation, or if there's any free support, but that's a long shot. Of course I don't imagine that I will find the perfect firmware and that one is vastly superior over the other. Also if there's anyone out there who uses one of these firmwares on a TP-Link WR1043ND, it would be great to get some feedback about the impact of the changes from the original firmware. PS I'm open also for Tomato if it's the better one. DEC 2020 update, still all in with Openant, everything works beautiful. Overall, Openant if you really want flexibility. I dumped DDWRT, WRT54G, for Openant, Asus WL500GP, because of this, related to this, haven't had a regretful moment yet. Not even close. Reliability. I am not aware that one is significantly more reliable than the other. Both have quite lengthy release cycles, which have yet another bunch of users complaining. Performance, I'm pretty certain it mostly depends on the hardware device and best compatible drivers most of all. Configurability, open package management system should win easily here. Ease of use, I like TDWRT Web UI. I don't have a particular problem with Lucy either. Lucy just got bumped to 0.10 branch in 10.03.1 RC5, which is another step up. But overall I'm definitely loving open slash etc. Things in there make sense when you need them to. Support slash docs, both have PHP BB forums with significant traffic. Open it all the way. Reasons. Complete control. Modularity. Well organized. Given these parameters, you can judge the coding is in good hands. I am a developer, and I find Opener very modular, very organized, with no limitations imposed. I can pick the modules I like, there are so many available. I can write an application straight in C or C++ and make it work under Opener. I can change the device driver code to suit my needs. And the whole procedure is documented well enough. Even if you are not a developer, you will find the modular approach in defining your system, stunning. A job well done by the NBSP, Opener team. And yes, I have used an NBSP, DDWRT before using Opener. I might add another category, or subcategory, to the main questions. Upgradeability slash up-to-dateness, has the core third-party router firmware been updated fairly recently?
DDWRT, while the widely referred to Peacock Thread FAC and DDWRT forums predominantly suggest sticking to routers most stable versions, these firmware versions are with few exceptions over a half dozen years old. DDWRT updates are found in the beta router firmware links organized by year, but it can be surprisingly difficult to find out which exact up-to-date upgrade one really needs skeptical. Openert, the webpage downloads.openert.org shows last month's release of Chaos Commer 15.05, so certainly the Openert firmware is extremely up-to-date. Tomato the stock tomato router firmware listed at PolarCloud.com's firmware link is currently at version 1.28. From about 5 years ago. Sure, there are also a bunch of more updated tomato firmware distribution variations, aka modifications or mods, for various routers listed around, but many people either don't know about these mods or if they even work right. An important consideration these days is router security. Out of the three distributions, only the OpenERT has a security advisories page. This URL. So basically from security standpoint, OpenERT is the only choice. DEWRT has nightly builds available, but there is no changelog, and the latest firmware for my particular device has 3.18.140 kernel which is EOL. Another point is that the SVN repository of DDWRT has only one contributor, while OpenERT has some 700 contributors. Which is not necessarily mean that there is really only one contributor, but when a kernel security fix backport commit doesn't contain much details besides the being fixed, it looks pretty suspicious from security standpoint. If you like this episode, please subscribe to the channel.